can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to? God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man, and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! Oh, oh, shit! Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Ah. 
Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. That would help. Hey. Are you selling 20 any bucks? What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Dick. No. No, 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 no. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. <laughs> Sit and spit. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep, my bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. We have to set this up Maybe exactly I can get a better view of the action from up above.
You spilled my beer, bitch! You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Dickhead! <laughs> Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank. Not gonna happen. Calm down. <laughs> Come on, man. Walk away. Screw this. This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Chloe! Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Last night, Seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That. girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? They smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes.
Uh, I really should get going. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. I might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? 
What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah. An old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just... grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, What are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole! He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe. and- If your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? 
I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there are some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. That's enough. I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity. And we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. It's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning in the midnight all again. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up.
I guess mom left her purse back here. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, 
I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy-set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks! It's alright. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success! The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch! Your turn again, Chloe. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, 
it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. It says here I can pick locks. Can I do that? Sure. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. Shit! <laughs> LOL. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little... Lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he- I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing, you won. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, 
which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? <gasps> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I say something really encouraging to Elamon. Like what? Yeah? Like what? Shit. Uh, why is being nice so hard? <clears throat> Never, ever give up. Word. Elamon feels inspired. He summons the strength necessary to crawl away from Durgeron. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey. I chopped your feet off, and we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn, but you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight, and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. got here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad guess nathan prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not yours give it back i hate that you're on the team now you're such a loser
Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to- Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a good...